morning friends i hope you're all doing great as usual and uh, good morning welcome to uh filipina in europe and welcome to the word wednesday okay our uh, the the our subject for today is about judgment or judging okay i'll go quick about it but uh the verse is found in uh, matthew uh, chapter 7 verses 1 to 3 it says judge not that ye be not judged okay and it's somehow connected to another verse in the same chapter with where it says uh do not do to others what you don't want to be done to you okay and we all know it's true the good that you do the god will give back to you will pay you back for the good that you do and likewise it is a universal law known in many religious uh, beliefs like in hindu it's called karma okay if you don't want it to uh, be done to you don't do it to others okay so it's simple as that and it's true we know it okay so there are <laughs> sorry about that okay there are many, there are many many uh tragedies based on wrong judgments that are triggered by yes by many tragedies are triggered by wrong judgment okay and uh for example in phase in uh, bitag i always watch bitag the filipino youtube channel and also other uh, positive uh, reviews about the filipino uh, uh phenomenon singing phenomenon like uh, marcelito pomoy and uh, marisette amon okay they're more positive and but i also watch bitag and the my overall opinion is that most or majority of the complaints have to do with uh, facebook or social media negative comments a lot of uh the the uh, problems the crisis or the what do you call that um confrontations um can be avoided if we only know how to not judge another okay the latest uh the the uh most tragic uh, consequence of this is uh yesterday i watched i think it's over a year ago or a year ago um uh, a young guy who a young a live-in couple in the philippines okay um the guy uh apparently was very angry got irate or furious over a negative post about him saying about his physical appearance i don't know just for this uh very uh what they call um, uh light matter like if you say they're ugly so he killed his uh living partner and the two very young uh children like only one the i think the old oldest is uh only over a year old he burned to death this uh, family that's over judgment okay and getting under it so that is actually there are many many uh, consequences negative consequences as a result of judging others that we we will see we can see all over not only in social media and um and this we all know this everybody knows this uh, do not do to others it's uh, as simple as abc we all know we all have a head knowledge of this uh, basic principle and uh, universal law but we don't know how to apply it 
in practical life. Me, in particular, in particular as a Christian way back when I was still 16, <laughs> when I was 16, we, I started to know these basic principles of uh, Ten Commandments, uh, doing good works, but we basically don't know how to apply it in everyday life until I first uh, uh, learned more. It's not that I know perfectly about a Heavenly Father loving us beyond comprehension. Until I came to that truth, I didn't know how to apply. Okay, until you know that you have a heavenly father. Okay, picture the prodigal father. Prodigal actually means uh, uh, we, uh, prodigal means uh, exorbitant. Okay, You're, you don't care. Don't care about spending maybe. Don't care about giving so much. So the prodigal son didn't care about spending so much. And the, so this is the same prodigal father. He didn't care. He didn't care what he risked. Risked. He risked his only begotten son. And the story of the prodigal father in the Bible is still, for me, a lame story because it's very formal in its storytelling. But if we could picture the prodigal father, it says every morning he would stand by the top of the tower because he's rich. He lives in a castle. So every morning, early in the morning, he would go to the top of the tower to watch over the horizon if his son, the prodigal son, would be returning. Every morning he did that. And when he saw one morning that from afar off, he could see, he could recognize. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> from afar off, he could uh, see, he could recognize the, his son. It is his son. You could imagine a marathon trying to win the race. I believe that is how our Heavenly Father ran. And, and when he got to him, he did not even uh, let the son finish his rehearsed speech. The son rehearsed a speech. He only wanted to be a servant. He's not returning to be a son. He wanted the goods of the house to be to be able to uh, live a comfortable life eat uh, properly because he thought the servants in my father's house live better than uh, he lives when he was in the world okay so he came back for this reason but the father as soon as he got to him he embraced him i think tightly and he did not kiss him just once. It says he kissed him <laughs> repeatedly. <laughs> okay. And uh, on his neck. Okay. I think that is the way how our father ran. And it is, I think, the only, as far as I know, the only um, time in the Bible that says the father ran. Okay. The father ran to meet this child, this son, this wayward, returning wayward son. Okay, and that is the love of the Father. And I would say, I would hasten to add another uh, parable about the lost coin. The lost coin says a woman lost his coin somewhere in the house and he, <laughs> she turned the house upside down. He's looking for the, the lost coin, which is you, which is me. And when he found, when she found that one lost coin, she called the friends, the neighbors, and says, come rejoice with me. Okay, it's like when you lost a son, okay. Uh, we, we hear of many disasters, sad to say. And when we see one survivor, one little child survive, all the people around, I saw it on TV, on the earthquake here in Italy, they were digging under the debris uh, after the earthquake. And when they saw this little child, they all rejoiced. Okay, they clapped, they uh, clapped to the uh, rescuers, they congratulated the rescuers, and they were happy over that uh, rescue, over that one little child. And I think it's the same with our Heavenly Father. He called all the angels, let us rejoice. 
over it says so uh, i don't remember the exact verse there is uh, joy in heaven over one sinner that goes back or over one sinner that repents okay so that is how i came to uh not apply but the fruits of good works naturally come as soon as you know you have a personal relationship based on your knowledge not had knowledge uh, spiritual knowledge which can only come from knowing the words the stories of his love in the Bible so I recommend you to open the Word of God so this is Word Wednesday it's about the Word okay open the Word of God and have a personal relationship with the Word with our Lord Jesus that is the only way that you can not it's a it will come naturally the the good works maybe not instantly but over time you will be able to grow in your relationship with our heavenly father who indeed loves you and me mightily okay imagine the prodigal father <laughs> okay prodigal actually means some uh, careless exorbitant how to call that in his love okay even this creator of the universe he did not make it hard for anyone it says for whoever believes in him should not perish he did not make it hard for anyone to join to get into the plan of salvation okay i have i would remind you that we still have our ongoing cash giveaway raffle and some people could not join because they say, how can I join? I don't have a PayPal. How can I join? Some people might not have Facebook where they can share. Okay, they have. But in this plan, God's plan of salvation, God did not, God qualified everyone. The poor, the, uh, not only the highly intellectual, but even the, uh, unqualified intellectually even the uh, maybe elementary graduate everyone the poor the lame everyone there is no uh, it's unconditional everyone can get into this plan of salvation God is that great in his love for us he didn't he made it very easy for everyone to get into this plan of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ so all you have to do is pray to accept, uh, pray for uh, forgiveness of your sins and accept our Lord Jesus Christ as your own personal Lord and Savior. And you will start from that to an upward and forward walk with your heavenly Father who really loves you. Okay, doubtless. In Jesus' name. Okay, thank you. God bless. God bless and God loves you.